And I'm going to hit the button to mute everyone just so that we don't get any feedback on the video. Um, you guys can unmute at any time and ask questions. That's perfectly fine with me. Uh, so I do have a slideshow. You guys know I'm not not the biggest fan of slideshows, but that's OK. Um, we're going to go ahead. Let's see if it's going to allow me to from the beginning. Oh, there we go. So we have our, hopefully you guys can see that on your screen. Uh, so we're just gonna run through exclusive look. We're kind of gonna go through um, a little bit about what the program is, what it does, how does it function? Um, so we know exclusive look um, is a, a Coldwell Banker only tool um, that's going to, to help us market our product, uh, our properties more effectively. Um, it's something that only Caldwell Banker has, um, so it's not found in any of the other brokerages. And I really like this because I think that Coldwell Banker really did recognize, um, you know, eventually this MLS is going to stop um, being so nice and it's going to start, you know, charging people that $5,000 fine um, for different things, um, you know, if we're, we're not marketing things correctly or having them in the MLS. But this is actually a way to do pocket listings legally. Um, so that is the one thing that I do love about this is everything in here is completely kosher um, because I will guarantee you that was the very first question that came out of my mouth um, when they started showing this to us um, is to make sure that it is completely compliant with our local laws. Um, so. Again, because we're with Coldwell Banker, we're in one of the most established networks in the industry. We're just in this large um, company. And how do we make that work for us as individual independent contractors? Um, so why you would need it? Um, so one thing that Exclusive Look does is gives you a platform before your um, property goes into the MLS, uh, you can gain some early access to it. Uh, creating demand for your listings early, even in a seller's market, is always a good thing. Um, testing the price um, without getting those days on the market. Um, and also sharing buyer needs. So that's a big thing um, that I've noticed is, um, you know, I get a lot of emails if I have a buyer and they're looking in this you know, area or they're looking for this, uh, how do I best um, find someone instead of just reaching out to my office, I'm getting all of the Coldwell Banker agents. Um, you know, you can get automatically notified uh, about new listings, wants and needs via the daily and weekly digest. <clears throat> um, and it's a constant push of listings. Um, I will say that it is generated by how much we use it. So the more we use it, the better it works. Um, and it's a great way to add value when you're on a listing presentation with a client, um, because now you, in, in addition to having the MLS, we have a big network that we're using. Um, so we do have the sneak peek. Um, so sneak peek listings are made available to as many as, um, I believe it's 87,000 Coldwell Banker agents um, prior to MLS submission. Uh, the listing shows up about, it's, it's really less than five minutes from when you add the listing to the program. Um, you do have to have the seller's written uh, or verbal permission. Uh, I always say written is best um, and have submitted the listing file to the office. Um, so you can post this one business day uh, before your MLS entry. And we know that that does fit with the compliance for Bright MLS. Um, if we market the, um, the listing publicly, it doesn't matter how we do that, even if it's social media. Um, if we mention this listing is coming soon, it needs to be in the MLS within one day. So we are following the MLS laws. Um, and as an agent, you can enable team members if you're on a team um, to manage or edit your listing. Um, you know, and again, just as a reminder, the listing agent is always responsible with any legal requirements, rules, regulations, et cetera. Um, and your staff can help you, although they do recommend to us um, that we do not uh, go in and touch your listings without you present. 
Um, so again, sneak peek is considered public marketing. Um, so again, no more than one business day ahead of the submission, but business day is where it's at. So if I have a coming soon, and I know that bad boy is going to come out on the market on Monday, one business day before that is Friday. Um, so I'm going to put it on on Friday, and I'm going to get those Saturday and that Sunday as well. Um, so then we also have CB exclusive. Um, so some key things to know about this. Uh, this is valid for a specific length of time. Uh, it has to be agreed to by the seller. So there is paperwork for them to fill out. Uh, we know that if we have something that is exclusive only to our brokerage, the MLS does have to be notified uh, as far as bright rules are concerned. Um, so there is a form that they can fill out. Uh, the seller also has to provide written consent. Um, you know, again, that's to limit the exposure to other agents to only our brokerage. Um, and again, that's an addendum that you can find in desk. Uh, this is designed really for non MLS properties only. Um, and during the time that it's in CB exclusive, the listing must not be marketed to anyone in any medium outside of Coldwell Banker affiliated agents and their clients. So that means you guys know no social media, no Facebook, no Instagram, no Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube. Uh, that even includes the MLS. Um, so the listing cannot be in the MLS while it's in CB exclusive. Um, and of course we have to have those waivers signed because we wanna pay attention to our rules and bright MLS. We don't wanna get that $5,000 fine um, because when they say there's one mulligan for the brokerage, I'm just going to act like that's already happened. Um, and I don't know about you, but $5,000 is a heck of a lot of money. And if I had that much, I would want to keep it in my pocket. Um, and then also your listings have expiration dates. So they're automatically archived um, after 60 days. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now you can go in and extend that uh, or turn it into a sneak peek. Um, which, you know, you can do a day before the listing goes live. You just have to click a button, which is very cool. So we also have wants and needs. Again, I'm not supposed to have favorites, but I absolutely love this. Uh, you know, we can all share specific needs with other Coldwell Banker agents, no matter which office they're working out of. Um, I, I already know you guys travel everywhere you're like nomads you're everywhere everywhere that there are listings you go um and what this does is it leverages our extensive networks it you know it helps us to find hard to find we can discover those hard to find listings especially in the seller's market uh, we're helping our buyers out we're kind of figuring out what's going on first uh, i can see if another agent has a client that's looking for the property that's similar um you know to the one that i have listed or the one i'm about to list i can connect with that agent um, and again, I'm always going to follow the rules, the regulations, compliance, bright rules. Um, so I'm never going to do things outside of the scope of compliance, but it does help me. Um, you know, I'm sitting in a listing presentation and I've pulled up once in needs and there are three agents that have clients that are looking for the property that I'm about to list. Um, why would that seller not list with me if I can already find buyers looking for their property? Um, that's the power of using the Coldwell Banker network. Um, and that's why I'm Coldwell Banker agent. And I love that it says Zillow who, because y'all already know how I feel about Zillow. Um, so here we can do a, a short demo. Um, we'll skip that. We'll actually come back to it. Um, because I do want to review just a little bit of this first. Um, so once and needs, um, they also have now a reverse search. Uh, so the reverse search for your buyers, uh, that will automatically provide a, a list of matching listings that meet the same search criteria as your wants and needs post. Um, so you'll only be able to see this if you're the agent that posted it. Um, the other thing we have, uh, to find potential matches for a listing. Uh, you can click on my posts and select the matches button. So you'll see here we have my post and matches um, that's located on your listing. And from there, you can actually um, find potential matches on your detailed listing page. 
So if you don't have a match, sometimes it takes some time. That's OK. Um, just keep checking back periodically. Um, also, um, you know, it'll show you here once it needs any matches, something like that, and it'll give you that agent's information um, so that you can reach out to him or her. Um, so there are some new features. Uh, total views since the listing was published. Uh, total numbers of times a person refer, you know, returned to view the listing. Um, these were actually all, I believe it was yesterday. I want to say it was yesterday. Because um, I actually swiped this from somebody this morning. Um, so you can actually um, see how many agents have viewed your listing, how many times a particular agent has gone back in and repeatedly visited the listing, you know, how many, you know, times they clicked around. Um, and, and by clicking the contact button, uh, clicking the call, clicking the email, all of that, you'll see the top three office locations with the most listing um, interaction. So you can actually go in um, and see what's going on. Um, so we do have some impressive claims. Um, agents and teams that used exclusive look experienced 20% increase in production. Uh, it looks like an average of $40,000 increase in production and earned 2.56 times more. Um, you know, basically almost three times more. Um, and they actually get that from, uh, we have metrics in the background just to look at our tools and see who's using them, what they're doing, um, how they're working to make sure that they are indeed working. Um, so we're going to jump out of that uh, before we get to Q&A. Um, we're going to jump into we're going to jump into exclusive work. We're just going to dive into it um, <clears throat> and open it up and see what it's all about. So I will ask as we're jumping into it, if anybody on the call has actually already utilized exclusive look. And you can unmute yourselves if you want. Or or nobody. Um, so you'll see mine always comes up in Madison, New Jersey. That's because I'm an employee. Uh, that's where our headquarters are based. So that always brings it up. But I like this because they really use this in Madison, New Jersey. Um, so I can go through and I can see a lot of the properties that are in here, listings. Um, I can see wants and needs. So you'll see here again, uh, just no pictures. There's nothing there to to post. But here, this person's looking for a condo up to seven hundred, you know, two hundred seventy five thousand with two bedrooms in these areas. Um, some of these are, you know, larger prices. Some are smaller prices. They're all over the board. Um, so don't think that any listing or, or, you know, want or need that you have is too much or too little. Uh, you'll see here there's 12 items per page. Well, let's make that 96 and you'll see there are a lot in here. Um, so always a great way to go in when I'm listing something, see if there's anything in my area, people looking for it. If I've posted anything, that will pop up here. We'll go into that in just a minute. We'll see if it's going to let me do it. And then any saved searches. Um, so I do get emails for this Madison, New Jersey. I do need to update it um, for listings, for wants and needs. Uh, shows it on my login. It's included in an email that I get automatically um, that comes straight to me. But maybe my location is different. Let's put in Baltimore. Um, and see what oh, it's going to. Oh, there we go. Baltimore, Maryland. So we're going to choose it from the drop down and you'll see there's not quite as many. Um, our area is a little bit newer to um, CB uh, to exclusive look. So we have our, our CB exclusives here. Uh, we have our um, some of these properties might be in an area that you serve. Definitely a great way to go in and see. Um, you know, what's up and coming maybe or what is only available to us. Maybe I have a buyer that is, you know, looking in this area for this exact type of house. Um, just another uh, a bonus of working with me as their agent um, wants and needs. Again, I can go in and type that location. You can get nitty gritty, you can put the state, you can put the zip code. Um, oh, so I clicked on the button there. 
Um, so I can go in and I can look at Baltimore, Maryland, and you'll see here some people looking. So Joanne, she's looking in the Perry Hall, Nottingham, Kingsville, White Marsh area. She's out of the Bel Air office. So that is a great way. So I'm sure Joanne also emailed her office, but now she can reach out to White Marsh agents. She can reach out to Towson agents. Maybe there are agents in, in Carroll County, Fells Point, Roland Park, you name it. Y'all drive everywhere. Every agent now can come in and see what she's looking for. Um, so that is a really great benefit to the wants and needs. If I have a listing that is up and coming that fits any of this criteria, um, maybe I have something coming up in Towson that fits this, um, ready to make an offer now. Wow, if I have a listing, look, I might already have a buyer. Um, saved searches again, you can go in, uh, save your listing searches and my post. So how do I add a want or a need? I'm just going to click through um, and I'm just going to basically fill out the criteria. So it's going to autofill my agent name. Um, then I want to go ahead and put in my phone number. I want to put in my, uh, my, my license number. It already pulled my photo for me or I can add that if I need to. Um, maybe I need to add an editor, so maybe I have an assistant. I work on a team uh, where we have an assistant. I can add that, or maybe I'm working with another agent. Uh, property location, so I'm looking for something in Joppa Town. Uh, maybe I also want to put in Joppa. Um, oh, so that's not going to come up, so that's interesting. Oh, so I already have my, my neighborhood there. Um, location, so I'm going to go ahead and put in 21085. Um, and let's see if it lets us put in more than one neighborhood. Okay, so that we can't do, and that's okay. Uh, but I can also put in some additional uh, cities or zip codes here. Uh, minimum price, we'll just say zero. This person's looking for 275 or lower. Uh, property type, this person wants a single family home. Uh, they want at least three bedrooms. Uh, square feet they don't care about. They want at least two toilets because uh, we know the MLS says full baths. Uh, you know, they have um, two showers as well. They're looking for, you know, those full bathrooms. Uh, acreage they don't really care about. Description um, looking for something in the Joppa Town area. Y'all that are familiar with the area know there's difference between Joppa Town and Joppa, um, you know, and then I can add the post. So that's going to add that to the wants and needs. Um, later, now that this is active, later as the agent that posted this, uh, I can archive it if I no longer need it. I can edit it if this information has changed from my buyer, and I can also type in matches. Um, so you can see there's no matches yet. I can come in tomorrow. I can check that. I can check that later today. Um, if for whatever reason I had matches here, I'd be able to contact that other agent and get some more information as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and archive that. Um, archiving, it just means that it's unavailable to other agents. So I will archive that <coughs> because I'm not actually a selling agent and I don't want anybody calling me. <laughs> With their with their job of property. Um, I can also add a listing. Um, so again, this is where I need to determine is it going to be a CB exclusive um, visible only to the associated agents within Cobalt Banker Realty? And that does mean all of the offices um, across the nation or sneak peek. So it's only visible to Coldwell Banker agents for one business day prior to MLS submission. Now remember, MLS submission could be coming soon. This gives us an added advantage as Coldwell Banker agents because now instead of putting it as coming soon on the MLS where every agent under the sun has access to it, guess what? Now I'm a Cobalt Banker people are going to come to me, you know, and say, hey, I have somebody looking for this. You know, when is it going to be active on the market? 
Um, so we'll go ahead and choose the CV exclusive. Um, it's always very important, as with any tool, um, to read through all the verbiage on the screen. Um, if you're like me, I don't like looking at the computer. So if we control and scroll, we can make this a little bit bigger and easier to read. So I just hit control on my keyboard and I scrolled with my little mouse that I have here. Um, I'm still old school. I have a mouse. Um, so this listing will auto expire after 60 days. Um, and by submitting this, uh, I confirm that I've submitted the, the listing file to my office. So I've already given this information to my SSA. I have the paperwork, the CB exclusive listing addendum, uh, and any applicable rules of the MLS. So we know that our MLS does require the bright MLS waiver uh, for the client to sign, stating that the client does not want it on the MLS. Because again, I can list it. If it's not going to be on the MLS, they need to have that so that if somebody reports me or you know somebody whatever, they already have that information. And I'm I'm you know. Uh, following the rules um, and of course uh, submitting that MLS waiver to the MLS. Um, it's not applicable uh, for first MLS listings. Not sure what that means. If you guys know what that means, that might not pertain to our area. Um, I am the listing agent. If I'm on a team or I have another agent listing with me, I can add his or her information as well. Uh, you'll see now it's auto filled my license number because I've already given that to um, to it once already. Um, and I'm going to just auto fill here because I'm being efficient uh, with time. I'm going to go ahead and say, of course, I am with Maryland. Here's the property location. We're going to say the price is going to be 250. It is a single family. Uh, we have a three bedroom, uh, 1500 square foot, two bathroom, uh, no partial baths. Lot size is 0.22 acres. And a short description. You guys know how to write a property description. So we'll just say um, property description here. Uh, if we have any images, of course, we want to upload those here so we can drop photo. Um, let's say we have our images here. Uh, we can just go in and add the images as many as we need. Um, or actually, yes. Yeah. So we can add more than one. Uh, so we're going to let that load. Uh, and then the expiration date. So the listing agent must submit to the MLS uh, what the expiration date will be. Uh, that has to match the date on the MLS waiver. Um, so let's just do, uh, and you can see we can only go 60 days out. So we'll just use that. Share the listing on public sites. Um, uh, I'm not gonna do that just because that's public marketing. So I don't want to share on any public sites. This is an exclusive. Um, and then I can go through again. Um, I can add an additional photo. I do like to point out that you can do that. Uh, I just have some random. I just have some random photos in here. Of some other properties that look like this property. Uh, so we'll add those in. I believe you can add up to 10 photos here. Um, I don't have any editors added, so I can add an editor. So maybe I work with um, working with another agent that's helping me out. Maybe I have somebody on my team. Um, I can add that as well. And I am the lead agent. Now, um, I also you'll see when I get down to the bottom here, it's not going to allow me to add this listing. I promise it's not broken. I have to adhere to this policy here. Let them know that I have submitted my stuff and then I'm going to add the listing. Um, now I'm not going to add that because it's not a real listing, um, but also I can go into add listing sneak peek and it's going to be the exact same process. Um, just remember the difference. So this is going to be auto archived tomorrow at 1159 PM because I can only put this on as a sneak peek one day before it goes on to the MLS. So that gives me until tomorrow at 1159 to put that into the MLS and um, also make sure that I have obtained the seller's permission, submitted the listing file to my SSA in my office, and I'm following all of the bright MLS rules and regulations um, because I wanna make sure I don't get that $5,000 fine. Um, 
because remember, sneak peek is public marketing. Uh, and we know Bright MLS said if you do any public marketing and it's not in there within uh, 24 hours, you get a $5,000 fine. Um, so um, with that, that's pretty much the whole system. It's not, um, I don't want to say it's not complicated. It, it could be, um, but you want to make sure just that you, you know, go in, utilize the wants and needs go in there and look for things. Maybe I'm looking for, um, maybe I'm looking for Cecilton even. So there's nothing in Cecilton, that's okay. Maybe I'm looking for Towson, um, nothing in Towson to see right now. So again, the more we use this, um, the better it's going to be um, and the more it's going to, to work. So again, you can see sometimes there's nothing found um, but the more we go in and, and play with it and use it, um, the more well, that was not what I intended to to have. Um, so the more we utilize it and the more that's in here again, you'll see lots in here for wants and needs. Um, and again, agents can be in any office and they're going to hit, you know, we're going to be able to see exactly what they're looking for, even if we didn't get that email that they sent to their particular office. Um, so that is exclusive look in a nutshell. Um, do you guys have any any questions? No questions? Alrighty. Um, so we'll go ahead and stop our recording.